Good morning, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Oregon. Oh, I gotta go pick up the trailer. And it is 7.9 miles away, which gives me eight miles of reasons to complain. And I'm a truck driver. And I can complain? Oh my god, I can complain. I'm having some issues with the truck. Got me a little uh, chicken engine light over there. And uh, turns out it's uh, related to the emissions control system. You know, so I'm not currently saving the environment. Which is fine. With all the masks you see on the ground, I don't really think the environment's worth saving anymore. Oh, let's not go political. Um, so yeah, we got a... Speaking of political, we're picking up a load of toilet paper. Street value on that, somewhere around $700 million. You know, new, new world orders going on right now, so... You know, I, I, I only a few minutes ago I said I wasn't going to go political. But guess what I did? Um, well, getting back to the issues of the truck... It is having a emissions control issue and a, currently a shifting issue because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we're bobtailing over to pick up a load and I am blessed with a 10% power reduction, 10% D rate. Because, you know, when your truck's acting up like that, you're supposed to. My oh, seatbelt locked. God damn it, I can't see out the window. It looks clear to me. Um, sorry, I'm kind of like off topic or something. I can't topic today. So the truck's got a 10% D rate on power, so like I've only got, what, 480 horsepower or something? So um, this load of toilet paper that I'm going to pick up is uh it's pretty light it's i think thirteen thousand pounds in the trailer if even that so yeah we'll get her uh get her on picked up over there and continue our travels uh it's kind of kind of rare for me to be up this early in the morning in portland oregon uh, because I work nights. This is usually my bedtime. But I, I had a really rough go of things yesterday and had a breakdown Friday night. Uh, the trailer that I picked up had a major issue. The uh, the relay valve went bad and, and uh, the trailer wouldn't air up. And uh, so yeah, got delayed five hours on that. Got two hours into the route and I started falling asleep. And I said, F that, I'm going to sleep without an alarm. And that's exactly what I did. Woke up six hours later. So what, that puts me 11 hours behind. And I haven't really seen the route much during the daylight, so I kind of kind of just took my time and enjoyed the sights. And uh, kind of glad I did. You know, I didn't, I didn't get out and take enough pictures or anything, but... I did get a, a little video of uh, Alturas, California there. Kind of a neat little town. Okay, we've got 6.2 miles to Rivergate Boulevard. Last time I came through here, um, they were doing some road construction. And uh, so I wasn't able to have a straight route to uh, my location there. Is there like a little park over here or something? I guess we're right next to a river. What do you want to bet that's the... What river would that be? Would that be the Columbia River? Would that be the Willamette? I feel like crap for not knowing. 
as much as I drive and have seen everything, I, I really should pay more attention, right? Man, there's a lot of junk and trash. That's sad. I think humanity in general is just uh, giving up on picking up their trash, or at least put it in the proper place. You know, what happened to reduce, recycle, reuse, and what have you? Cross underneath an Amtrak train. That's cool. Man, I can't shift today. Um, when my truck's cold, you know, shifting gears is slow. And, you know, once it warms up, it'll, things loosen up. They'll be friendlier to drive. But, uh, yeah, I got, woke up this morning and just in a kind of a crappy mood. I, I think I got some stuff coming up this week. I need to put the truck in the shop and maybe get this issue fixed or I do have a scan tool. I could possibly just reset the damn thing and ignore it. But I don't know. I don't it never it never pays to ignore an issue. So I'll, I think I'll just put the truck in the shop this week and take some time off. Or something. I, I don't know. It's just stressful. You know, for me, my job is, is a little bit of my therapy, so parking the truck for a little bit would drive me nuts. But to be honest with you, I need some time off to do my thing and take care of my house and take care of my life because, and I'm not disparaging the recent vacation that I had, but um, vacation was kind of like work. <laughs> it was uh it wasn't very relaxing for sure it was you know buy a cheap motorcycle pray to god that it works and then ride 1500 miles on a sketchy motorcycle that i didn't bother registering or insuring so yeah and then trying to keep up with some new friends and their fancy motorcycles and uh yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a relaxing vacation. and um, There's one area that I always go to every year. And it's kind of my, my little sanctuary. It's, it's Prairie Creek in the Redwood National Forest there. And uh, I got to ride the bike through there, so I got some footage of that I'll put out. But um, I usually, there's a place where I go that I stop and and uh, I usually meditate for a little bit and think about the choices I've made in life and where I'm heading and what I'm doing and where I've come from and all that. So I didn't get a chance to do that, but I did do it earlier this year, so I can't, I can't be too much of a complainer. We got 3.2 miles we get to our little destination I was supposed to bring an empty trailer uh, but I couldn't find one last night so hopefully this customer doesn't get all moody and uh, you know we can uh, get ourselves a trailer and get back to Reno today it is 9.30 in the morning it is 55 degrees and I am absolutely happy with that temperature. I am very warm blooded and 55 degrees makes me a very, very happy boy. Um, I don't know if you can see here on the ground uh, skid marks and all that, people doing donuts and stuff. I probably should have come over here and slept for the night. See the street racers? See if I can uh, convince a few to let me put a GoPro on their cars and stuff? That would be great, huh? <clears throat> so yeah oh the leaves are changing see that over there on the left it is that time for leaves to change it is October 3rd there is no escaping fall 
I, I officially don't get pissed about the seasons changing. You know, because it's going to get cold and all that. And it's probably going to snow here in a little bit. Just past Ledbetter Avenue. Be sure you say hi to Eddie. Uh, no, I don't get pissed about the seasons changing. Until I got a account for daylight savings. I think that's when I get pissed. You know? When the clock plays games with you. You, you know, you go so many months. And you look out the window and you're like, hey... It's 7 o'clock, and the sun is up, or the sun is going down, or the sun is in some form of transition. It has scorched the earth and come back to us. Um, but yeah, man, throw in a little daylight savings, and boy, it messes everything up. Cruising through the little industrial zone. I'm willing to bet that river we're... Well, we... Huh? Well, you're along for the ride. How could I disrespect you? You know, you, you found my channel. You, you found my videos. I, I don't know if you like them or not. But yeah, let's just say we. We're on this journey together. You know... I'm happy to bring you guys along, see a little bit of my life and what I put up with and what I'm doing. Because otherwise, nobody would give a flying flip about me. I'm just a quiet, lonely truck driver. Nobody loves me. <laughs> ah, that's fine. I don't need to be loved. I just need respect. Oh, well. Oh, I'm sure people love me. It's just hard to love somebody that's never around. Like me. Yeah, my schedule's quite fooky. Um, I don't really know where I'm going. I'm going to Rivergate. Well, in a bet, I probably could have turned right here. Nope, it's gated. I'm just going to keep following the GPS. Seeing some more leaves up here changing. Got us some reds to go with your greens. Those big ass green trees right there. Man, when those turn, can you imagine trying to sweep up all those leaves. Oh, bicycle rider in my way. I'll respect them. Briefly. Of course, you gotta ride down like almost the middle of the road. At least he's paying attention. Sort of. Oh! You didn't have to do that, dude. I wasn't gonna run you over. I mean, I contemplated it because you were riding in the middle of the road. Oh, Rivergate Boulevard. Hey, they built me a bridge. Holy crap. Look at this bridge. Man. My tax dollars at work. Pretty fancy bridge there. I don't see a name on it. So guess what? You have just peaked the Sterling Bridge. What do you guys think? It's a pretty nice bridge, right? Let's see how the transition is. Oh, nice and smooth from cement to asphalt. Man, they really built my bridge good. I am quite happy about that. Uh, coming up on the left here is Georgia. Pacific. Well, we're going to get ourselves some toilet paper. And uh, in the interest of national security, I will be shutting off the camera. But I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in, 
watching my videos, give it a like, give it a subscribe, you know. Let me know I'm doing all right. And uh, I'll catch you later. And as I always say, have a day. So, we are looking for a trailer. They weren't able to tell me where it was at. So, we are looking for 620118. And uh, I kind of know where it's at, but I'm going to circle the yard here. 620167, that is not it. Welcome to Trucking Kids. We uh, search for trailers, especially in the drop and hook game. I feel like I'm at FedEx again. 620228. Nope, I'm looking for 620118. This is something I struggle with because uh, I'm not very, I'm not good with numbers. Like, I'm terrible at memorizing stuff. And, like people's names and numbers and stuff and terrible at math. Uh, six two zero four oh two, that is not our girl. Six two zero one one eight. Uh, this drop yard only has two lanes, so the trailers can't get too lost. Uh, we're looking at six two zero one. Two zero, getting close, right? Look at all these trailers full of toilet paper. I think that's all they do here. I'm not sure though. But yeah, six two zero two nine nine. That is not our trailer. Watch it be like the first trailer on this row, and I just like totally went the other way. got a fine selection of trailers here though every company on the west coast is pretty much represented we got night transportation we got kkw we have legend transportation we have mx we have heartland express which used to be gordon trucking did you kids know that okay we are having an issue because I did not see the trailer I'm looking for 620118 see if I can make a U-turn without ripping the bumper off my truck can he do it he got it you get to win a truck with no damage okay 620118 I hope I don't think anyone else would have picked it up. Because, uh, you know, I'm the man right now. Nobody's supposed to touch my trailer. Just keep on looking, kids. If you see it, scream. 620118. 620-118. That is not it. Six two zero one one eight. Um, worst case scenario, I could call dispatch because all their trailers have GPS tracking on them, and uh, maybe they'll tell me. You know, unless there's another place where they park trailers, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure everything's supposed to be right here. These two big old rows. So as much as I'm blabbing though, I probably could have drove right by it. Okay, so there's another trailer. It's 620-402. Are we going crazy? Did I did I drive by it? Am I lost? This is a, a prime example of how things can like really slow you down. You know, I didn't bother 
waking up early this morning. I, I, I got up when I wanted to. I went and had breakfast. And, uh, but I, I would like to just pick up this trailer and, you know, make like a ba- baby and, and head out. Okay, there's another trailer, but it's 620 I need 118. 118. 620 118. I don't know if I'm going blind or stupid. Six twenty. Six twenty one one eight. I'm gonna drive to our left. I don't know if they have another drop yard or I don't know what they got going on. No, I don't think the trailer's still at a dock. I'll look over here. Have myself a gander. And you never know. The trailer could just be sitting somewhere. I'll circle the lot one more time. There she is. What is she doing over here? Wow. I thought we were totally lost and screwed. Is it still on the dock? Am I allowed to pull from the dock? Does that look like a dock? I don't see a lock on it. What do you think, kids? Let's swing around the other side. Swing me a little Yui. Yeah, that's our that's our girl right there. Oh, she's a little beat up. Oh, poor trailer. I'm going to ask the yard goat if I can pull from the dock. Talk to a yard goat driver. He's sitting in his truck. Hopefully he'll answer me. My trailer's sitting in a dock. Can I pull it from the dock? Yeah. If the uh, green light's on, yeah. That, there's no light or anything on the wall? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. No well, that guy was friendly. Um, so, back in my FedEx days... You know, they would tell you, oh, hell, your trailer's sitting in a dock. Go ahead and pull it. And I was at the Sacramento yard. Keep in mind, this is like four years into my FedEx career. And uh, they say, yeah, your trailer's ready. Just pull it out of the dock. And I pull it out of the dock. And guess what? Trailer's still being loaded. <laughs> and a whole bunch of valuable packages fell onto the ground behind the trailer. Luckily, there was nobody inside the trailer loading it. But, uh, yeah, they had to they had to stop their little conveyor belt and handle my, my poo-poo. It was a lot of poo-poo. And, uh... Went into the office and got scalded by the lady in dispatch. You know, she's being a real bitch too. She's like, oh my God, how long have you been a truck driver? And I was just like, bitch, the light was flashing green. And you told me to back up and fucking pull the trailer. Well, you're supposed to go inside and check. 
And it was like, this is like COVID had just started. And everyone was freaking out about, you know, the sweet and sour sniffles. I wasn't going to walk inside there and, you know, join the rest of humanity that possibly has some crazy communicable disease that's going to kill everybody. But, yeah, that's just... So I'm a little nervous about pulling trailers away from the dock. I've been... It's PTSD, to be honest. Let's, uh... Get this trailer situated. And, uh... Get on the road. Alright, kids. Let's, uh... Hook up a trailer. Start making some money around here. All these goddamn slackers. Speaking of myself, of course. How's that camera angle? How about that? Huh? I'm not using my my phone to preview, so I don't know. How about that? We'll get ourselves hooked up here. Get back to Torino. Glad hands are really ugly on this trailer. See how she airs up. Looking kind of funky. I am not moved from Funky Town. Man, I hate seeing a check engine light on my truck. 516,000 miles. I got a goddamn check engine light. This trailer is making air noises. See if it's the proper air noises. Hopefully my microphone works. This isn't even a dock. Wow. Okay. I thought that was a friggin' dock. Oh well. Watch me as I jack it. Yeah, I thought for sure this was a, a loading dock, but they put bumpers on the wall to keep the trailers from smashing up the building over there, I guess. That's pretty cool. Yeah, slide these tandems. I'll bring you guys along for that, huh? I'm actually in a very sour mood today. I slept okay, but there's a lot of stuff going on in life that I'm just quite frustrated about. Yeah, this trailer's light. We're gonna slide some tandems. I'm not concerned about the weight, but actually we'll slide everything. I'll slide the tandems, I'll slide the fifth wheel, so let's uh get that done, huh? How's that for a camera angle? Huh? Put some angle on that camera. We're going to slide the tandems. And uh, hopefully my microphone's picking up okay. I don't have my wind protection on here, so hopefully it's not too windy. You don't get to catch my hot air. I've been working on some breathing exercises. Pins are released. And, uh, yeah, I was talking to her, watching a podcast, and there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in the news. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't know how far my microphone reaches. Um, but this is only a test. I'm going to slide the tandems on the trailer. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I'm going to go all the way. And click. Now, I'm going to slide the fifth wheel on the truck, too. I'm supposed to do it with the landing gear down, but I kind of greased her up really good. I lower the airbags on the truck to help a little bit. I'm going to give it a click. Come on, click me. Give me a click. Is it going to slide? Or am I going to crash into it? 
oh, just like that. Yeah, don't do this at home, kids. I really should. I'm gonna lower that landing gear. Let's do this right, since I'm on camera. Oh, what a stupid. Um, I slide my fifth wheel a lot, so I uh, up, up. I usually keep it very lubricated. But we had some weather this week. And uh, apparently my attempts to lubricate have gone by the wayside. So I'll get this thing up. I'm hearing a lot of air noise. That's okay. Hope I didn't piss off my truck. Oh, the air noise is from my fifth wheel release. It must be leaking. Okay, look at that thing slide. Nice and tight. It's exactly where I want it. Make sure it clicks. Give me a click. You don't want the. You'd much rather have a click right now than a bang later. The first stoplight you get to. And the trailer slams into the locks. That's never any fun. Well, hope you guys are doing okay. It is a quiet Sunday morning here in Portland. The weather is beautiful. It's probably going to get into the 60s today. And, uh, man, if I was if I was homeless and hooked on smack, man, I'd love to live here. You know, always gloomy and rainy. You know, because I'm I'm a gloomy, rainy kind of guy. Um. I don't see the pins locked. We are having an issue. I'm gonna back up on it. Don't tell my friends I'm gonna back up on it. Make sure it locks. Okay, we're having a mechanical issue with the trailer. Oh, that's why. These things have an air release on them. And uh, when you air it up, it'll, it'll engage the, uh, the locking lugs. There we go. Go back there and double check our pins. Make sure they locked. Because if they don't, um, the chassis that the tandems rides on, it just rides in frame rails, right? If those pins aren't locked, there's one locked there, there's one locked up here. If those pins aren't locked, you can slide that chassis and it'll go right out, right out through the the rear bumper or the trailer. Like it won't, it won't stop it. But I'll do a better light check here in a little bit. But just want to make sure those pins are engaged. There's one right there. There's one right there. Got ourselves a little screw. It's in the tread though, so it's fine. I'm not that particular. And pull this bitch out of here. Let's see what's in the trailer. You guys want to see? There's not a seal on it. Am I allowed to show you? What do you want to bet? It's a uh, fucking door. It's up my door here. I just want to look at the toilet paper. Oh, man. 